hi guys so I just I was just editing editing this video um, this video you're looking at right now which is how to do a um, social media banner video I'm just gonna play right here on sorry that was the voiceover so um, so then while I was doing that I wanted to do a subscribe and please like or subscribe and a like um, pop up as well that's gonna catch people's attention or just because I wanted to experiment you know I wanted to see if I can actually do it and I came up with this I'm just gonna play it excuse the voice as well that right there so I figured it out and I was I'm really really happy I was almost crying just now I was like oh my gosh like TJ like you are getting better like seriously I almost cried like seriously I, could, I just kept saying thank you Jesus I can't believe I know how to do this now it is so good again let me just play it for you again so that's without the sound effect so I used an app called Keynote um, it came with my Mac computer um, hopefully the video that I showed you just now is already up the video on how to do a social media banner um, video so hopefully it's up so you can actually see exactly what I used to make these um, pop up so as I said I'm using a Keynote app and I'm also using the Mac computer the Keynote app came with my Mac computer so that was really awesome and I also edit my video with Final Cut Pro X as well so um, I'm just going to mimic this. I'm going to take you through what I did. So what I, um, I'm just going to open a new keynote file. So open new, my presentation, white. I'm going to delete this because I don't need it, as I said in my previous video as well. And um, I'm going to make the screen green because it has to be green screen before I import it into Final Cut Pro so that I can then use the Kia effect to make it look transparent. So now I've already downloaded a, an image yeah my date is completely wrong on this computer by the way like i changed it because of my final cut but let me change it back so what's today's date what's today's date oh my gosh yeah today's the 16th let me just change that let's change that. let's just leave that there so um i already downloaded an image on um from the internet so i found a like button image let's just look for it photos like that like um, I'm also gonna use the subscribe button as well and then I just found a photo that I wanted to use yes I do have a folder named photo shoot I have a lot of scary photos up here you don't want to you don't want to see them let me this time around, let me use a smiley face photo so I'm just gonna put that there as well just drag that on, onto the app so first I'm gonna edit this photo right here so I'm just gonna click on it Gosh, my face is so big, like seriously. So I just went to format, image, instant alpha, so I can delete the background. So I'm just gonna select the background I wanna delete. There, there, there. Yeah, just leave that there. And then I'm going to decrease the size. I think that's all right. What are you doing up here? I don't know what that one is doing up there. Um, image, instant mask. Let's just do that as well. Yep, good. You just maximize this. That's much better. Um, so now we have our image. We have our like button. I'm gonna do the same thing with the like button as well. I need to delete these white backgrounds. So again, I'm gonna go to format, image. You know the drill. Instant alpha. Select the background that I want to delete. You can also delete inside as well, but. I don't want to so I want to leave it white and then do the same thing with the subscribe button I want to delete this it, there's not much white background there but I still want to delete it just because I can yeah so easy because there's not much so now we have our three images and I'm going to select some shape so I'm just going to select square just square shapes i just need about two you'll see why in a second i'm going to decrease that so it can fit in here no it's gonna fit it in because i want to shade that i want to shade this like button for some reason when i click it i can't change the color um but that's okay you know 
the world is about improvising, man. You gotta improvise. If you can't improvise, like, what is life, man? Life is about improvising. So, because that's a weird blue, uh, and my color is purple, I like purple. Don't judge. I'm just gonna change the color to purple. Yep, good. Um, just gonna highlight all of that, control click and group. So that, so that when I move it around, everything won't just keep moving about. So I'm gonna decrease the size as well. And I'm gonna bring my image, just put it on top. Let's make that big. And then control click, center back. Hmm. I'm just gonna right here. Good. Um, okay, so now that that's done, something is missing. What is it? Yes, like. I'm gonna do a text. So I'm just gonna type like. Maybe I should go please like. Oh. Highlight. Make it white. Oh, that totally rhymes, me. Like, seriously, that rhymes. Highlight, make it white. Just gonna change the font, bring that to here. Oh, that's nice. Just gonna put that on top of there, like so. I'm gonna make it bold so it's more visible. Yes, that's better. I'm just gonna group it again so that that please like is completely grouped. Oof, what's going on? Okay, so now that's done, I'm just gonna bring it apart so that when it shows on my video, oh, I haven't grouped this one. I need to group this as well. So that when it shows on my video, it, it comes apart. I can actually, I can choose to bring it close together or far apart. So you see why when I take it onto the, when I import it into my video and find a cut in a second, but I like it spacious so now what i'm gonna do is animate it i'm gonna add my effect so click the image and go to animate building effect and what i like using is this envio boom i like that so i'm gonna use that envio and i'm gonna do the same thing with this as well boom so we're just gonna go to build order so we can um manage how it comes up so first is the which one is it? Yeah. When you click it, it actually shows which one you click. So yeah, <coughs> excuse me. So group on click. Now I'm going to make that after transition so it can just start automatically. And this one after build one. Review. Yes. Good. Awesome. So that's what I need. So now I'm going to export. So I'm just going to go to file, export to QuickTime. I like using QuickTime. When I use PowerPoint, PDF, HTML, I've used those ones before just to try it. They just, they just didn't work. And QuickTime is the best way to go. Um, yeah, hopefully you have QuickTime on your computer. <clears throat> I just left the previous options there. I'm just gonna name this um, prompt drop. I don't know what to name it. I'm I'm bad with names. Um, oh wait, there was already one there. Yeah, that's because. I'd already done one before, but I wanted to show you guys how I did this. Hopefully I can help someone else out. Um, cause I'm really, really happy that I was able to do this and figure this out. It's like, I'm so, so excited about it. So now that that's saved onto the desktop, ignore this. I am going to go to final cut. Let's just make that big. Cause I noticed in the previous video, some things were a bit pixelated. I don't know why. So what well, this is, I'm just going to put it here. Um, which one is it? This one, drag it on top. Let me decrease this volume so it's not too overpowering. And you see the minute I place it on, on my video, it, the screen is completely green. So I don't want the screen to be green. So I'm just going to go to effect here. Oh, effect and keen. You see, it's already on key because I use that all the time. And then go to Kia. And this is just going to make it look transparent, as you can see. Yeah. And it's way up here. I don't want it to be way up here. So I want it to be down here um, because it has to drop, you know. So I'm going to go to transform. I'm just going to drag it down. Ain't nothing to it. You've got to drag it down. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. 
and drag it down. That's it. And now with my sound effect to make that, um, to get that boom sound, I'll just play this one again so you can hear what I'm saying. That one, that's the sound that I need. So what I did, like Final Cut already came with a lot of um, sound, um, sounds, sound effects already. It, there's a lot of sound effects in iMovie as well. You might be able to find something that's um, suitable. So I just go to like sound effects. And I think the one I selected was already, was in ambience. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Let me just look for it. Thunderwell. Is it thunder? Yeah, that's the one. So Thunder Rose, what I used. Oh, why you gotta highlight everything for me, man? Like seriously. So I'm just gonna drag it on top. I'm going to decrease it because I I don't need all that much. And I'm gonna listen out for when that boom effect comes in. That's all I need. So I'm just gonna cut that. So I'm gonna go and select my blade, cut it, select my select. I'm gonna delete that. And I'm gonna copy this, just control C. And I'm gonna look for where the other one comes in. Yep, right there. So I'm just gonna put that there as well. And let's play it. Mm, it came in late, so just gotta play around with it until until you're happy with it. Again, why are you so late, man? Like seriously, like it's your issue. Okay, mm, that's good enough, I think. It's so hard. <laughs> what she said okay that's better so yeah so that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful um with my current level of excitement i think i might be doing a lot more um not a lot more i think i might be doing some videos like this you know because i noticed that i'm i seem to be learning something new almost every day not almost every day actually at least twice or three times a day when it comes to editing and like YouTube. YouTube has really changed a lot for me. It's really changed my perspective and changed how, like the, you know, how I see what I can do. I don't know if uh, that doesn't even make sense. Like it doesn't make sense at all. So ignore that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, comment down below if you want something that, if you see something and you feel like, oh, you know, I don't know if I can do that and I can try. I like to challenge myself. I really, really do. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Let's stop this.